The floodwall gates in the Guyandot area of Huntington will be closed tomorrow for a test. 13 News reporter Anna King went to that area today and has reaction from people who live there. Anna, what are they saying? That's right. I'm here right along 9th Avenue. And as you can see, kind of in the distance over here, there are some homes right here, right next to the gate. And those are just some of the people that will have to take a different route tomorrow. And some of the people I spoke with here say this is an inconvenience. Once they close the bridge, you'll have to go down by this church over here and turn left and go down to the Ridge, Street, Ridge Station. And then there, turn left onto a memorial bridge that goes on to uh, like 5th and like 3rd Avenue, that area. Thursday, the flood wall gate in Guy and Dot will be closed off for all residents as the Huntington Stormwater Utility will be conducting a gate exercise at 9th Avenue at Riverside Drive, leaving that stretch closed off and adding more time to some residents' travel. If you want to get like to um, like Route 60 from, like you can't go that way anymore. You have to go through like downtown and then go back up onto Route 60. Um, like in the Marshall area, you have to go all the way around that. So that's a big inconvenience. This exercise will be happening from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And the Huntington Stormwater Utility says this is even more important now, given the recent flooding. This enables uh, us to know that everything is functioning right. All the components are in good shape. And it's also a training exercise. But also with a typical flood season right around the corner. You never know when the river may have, you may have an extreme flood during flood season. It may get to, you know, 55, 60 feet. That would, that would initiate us putting quite a few of the floodgates in. Now, he did say 2020 was actually the last time they had to close one of the gates due to flooding. So right now they're just trying to be proactive. Live in Huntington, Anna King, 13 News.